A large percentage of the Upper Peninsula and its residents use propane to heat their homes in the winter. According to area propane distributors, the price of liquid propane has already increased more than 25 percent over the last year, with prices expected to continue that rise. TV6's David Jackson reports on how this can affect UP residents. Propane is often one of the only ways to efficiently heat a building in the UP. Because of that, area residents can be subject to the whims of the market. There's a lot of market county that's rural America, and we certainly have to be cautious on how the impact to the seniors are going to be with the people that aren't connected to a municipal natural gas. The price of propane per gallon is already up 30 cents over last year. Which is uh, equates per gallon extra two or three hundred dollars for the winter. Industry insiders say the UP will likely not have to worry about a repeat of the price hike from the winter of 2014. I don't see that ever happening again. Um, but with that being said, this year uh, exports going to Asia are higher than they've ever been. Um, so the supply is about the same more or less as it was that winter. According to propane industry experts, the exports of propane to Asia are up more than 25 percent over last year. Prices may be rising, but according to the National Weather Service, this coming winter is projected to be milder than previous years. But history says UP winters have a will of their own, and the increased prices of propane can force people to make an impossible decision. Whether it's you, you fill your refrigerator with food or keep the heat on is, is a troubling issue. Marquette County officials remind everyone there are programs available for people who are having difficulty paying for heat. The county has programs in place to assist with, and the state as well, with, with assistance, heating assistance. Propane industry representatives say to lock in prices now to be able to regulate the cost of heating this winter. In Nagani, I'm David Jackson for TV6 News.